What's going on guys? Matt Everett here with Lethal Camaro and today I want to talk about a product that probably a lot of you don't know about or have never used and if you have used one you probably know the details of it and what that is is an ODB2 sensor. Now what this product does is just below the left side of your driver side steering wheel you'll see a little slot that accepts this plug. This plugs right into your vehicle. It's a Bluetooth dongle. You can see the power in the, um, the range on this one. This one's a little more expensive than the ones out there. Ranges anywhere from 10 to 35 bucks. I think they even make some that are super expensive, but you really don't need the expensive ones to get what the job's done. Now, one thing to highlight is this specific sensor is built to work with Android. So there's a lot of apps out there that will work with this product, but the primary one out there that a lot of people use is called Torque. They do have a light version of the app that is completely free, but you can get the ad version. I think it's like $4.99. For me, it was a simple buy and I just don't have to deal with that crap anymore. So, um, but this, again, this device plugs right into your ODB2 sensor and allows you to do all sorts of things. Now, why would you wanna do this and why would you wanna use it? So if you take your vehicle down to a local car shop or anything like that, because you have a check engine light or something's up, you're actually able to do it with this sensor. Now, or I should say with this sensor with the Torque app um, on your Android device. Now, you plug this into your car, you connect it as a Bluetooth device, you set up a profile for your car in the Torque app, and it will track all sorts of data. It will track oil pressure, it will track RPMs, it will track speed, it will track just about every major thing that your car has a sensor for will be picked up by this sensor and delivered to the Torque app. You can also do zero to 60 runs and all that kind of stuff, but I found those kind of redundant because the car has that built into it. Now, the one big benefit here and one thing that I've used it for is when you are doing upgrades to your car that potentially can cause check engine lights, such as putting headers on your car or putting a full headers and cat back exhaust and all that kind of stuff. So. What those will do typically is throw a check engine light if you don't get your car tuned, because you can tune out those check engine lights, um, and actually use this device along with Torque to clear those CELs or check engine lights so the light doesn't appear. Um, and that alone for me has made this worth it. So whether you have check engine lights or not, it's always good because if there is a problem with your car and it pops up, you plug this in, you can check it, it will tell you in the Torque app exactly what the problem is and what issue is happening. So that way you have better information and know what to do if you need to take it to a dealer, need to take it to your performance shop or anything like that. So for a little cheap investment, these ODB2 sensors are an awesome investment. Unfortunately, most of them only work with Android. As far as I could tell, there's a lot of people already hitting me up asking, do I know of any that work with Apple? I don't, unfortunately. But if you guys do have one of these and you have an app that you've used on your iPhone or iPad or anything like that, post it in the comments below for the other um, guys of the channel who are looking. But so far, I've only found good products and apps that work for Android. So, yeah. Um, I'll do a video specific to Torque um, in the weeks to come. Again, I'm gonna be traveling, so I just don't have time to properly do a video on the Torque app, but if you guys are interested, stay tuned for that. But as always, appreciate you guys watching the channel. Make sure to get an ODB2 sensor if you guys wanna see all the details of your car and potentially even see what the air codes are telling you without having to go to a shop. Um, but as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you on the road.